Hyperion plans to kickstart a H2 fuel network with mobile stations. Hydrogen supercar maker Hyperion isn't happy about the state of hydrogen fuel infrastructure, so it's decided to start building its own, rolling out yacht-styled mobile hydrogen stations across the United States that can generate fuel on-site. According to Ibis World, there are 72,296 gas stations in the United States. According to GLP Auto Gas, there are just 107 hydrogen fueling stations in the USA, including private fleet facilities. If you take California and Hawaii out of the picture, there are a grand total of zero. That's better than Australia, which offers you Brave Nexo and Mirai drivers just three tank filling options in the whole country, but even fuel cell vehicle proponents Japan and Korea only have 166 and 34 stations up and running, respectively. coolest mouse ever is on the way to the market. Padron's ring transforms the mouse into a fashion accessory thanks to the latest technology and artificial intelligence that allows this groundbreaking miniaturization. Sensors like cameras and motion sensors are miniaturized into the ring and several neural nets build a highly reliable 3D model of the hand. Several innovations have been filed for patents starting in 2014. Two basic patents have been granted in the USA a few months ago. To further increase the technological lead, Padron is growing its team. The ring lets user work exactly like they had an unlimited touchpad on their desk. It connects via Bluetooth to any Bluetooth-enabled PC, Mac, Windows tablet, or Android device. Latency is comparable to any Bluetooth mouse. The battery in the ring lasts for a typical working day. The ring has been vigorously tested by several users. Two of them have used the ring over several weeks all day. Through the tests, it was possible to increase the reliability of the device significantly even further. Volkswagen builds motorized office chair with headlights and horn. Looking to branch out from utility vehicles, Volkswagen has tried its hand at designing transport for another kind of worker, those stuck behind a desk. VW's new high-tech office chair comes complete with an electric motor, headlights, horn, an entertainment system, and even a trailer hitch. With tongue firmly planted in cheek, VW's engineers explained the challenge of bringing as many features from their work vans into an office chair as they could. First and foremost, this thing actually drives around, courtesy of an electric motor and some foot pedals. With a 12 kilometers, 7.5 mile range and a 20 kilometers per hour, 12.4 miles per hour top speed, you won't even need to get up to go to the bathroom. That travel autonomous EV concept features modular seating system. If passengers are traveling in a truly self-driving car, they don't really have to stay in the traditional side-by-side, forward-facing seating position. That's where Volkswagen's GEN dot travel concept comes in, as it allows the seating to be rearranged for different types of trips. Unveiled last weekend at the Chantilly Arts and Elegance Auto Show near Paris, the all-electric GEN dot travel is a functional prototype designed to ultimately reach level 5 autonomy. That means it could operate without any human intervention. VW states that the four-passenger gullwing door car constitutes a completely new vehicle category in the premium portfolio between sedan and MPV, multi-purpose vehicle. It is intended to be offered in a mobility-as-a-service model, as an alternative to short-haul flights. Zip 
Recharge reveals EV charging hubs packing suitcase-sized power banks. Late last year, UK startup Sipcharge announced the development of a suitcase-sized power bank on wheels for charging electric vehicles. Now the company has revealed its next idea, a modular charging and storage hub called the Go Hub. First up, it should be noted that the Go power banks are not yet in production. Zipcharge expects the pre-order window to open later this year, with outright purchase and a subscription model already on the table. With the introduction of the Go Hub, the company is looking to add a rental option too. The base Go Hub platform will be available in two variants, either able to sandwich into a regular car parking space at a shopping mall, business park, or a paved area at the center of a community. The single-sided unit will house five Go power banks for EV drivers to hire whenever the need arises, kind of like the battery swap stations from the likes of Gagoro. A double-sided module will double. IBM reveals Osprey, the world's most powerful quantum computer. IBM has unveiled the most powerful quantum processor in the world, the Osprey, which boasts a massive 433 quantum bits, qubits. The new chip headlines a raft of advances in quantum computers that the company has announced as it prepares for a massive leap next year. While they've served us well for decades, traditional computers are increasingly paling in comparison to those young upstarts, quantum computers. Where the former stores and processes data in binary bits, as zeros and ones, the latter uses qubits that can be zero, one, or both at the same time. This exponentially raises the processing power for each added qubit, allowing them to potentially perform calculations that are impossible for conventional computers. With the power of 433 qubits, IBM's Osprey is the most advanced quantum processor in the world by a large margin. It packs twice as many qubits as the previous record holder Xanadu's Borealis, which was tested with 216 qubits and over three times more than IBM's own Eagle, announced last year, which packed 127 qubits. TapXR puts finger tap control of devices in bracelet form. Back in 2016, we told you about a wearable device known as the Tap Strap, which lets users control Bluetooth linked devices via finger taps. Its inventors have now announced its sleeker and more capable successor, called the TapXR. Created by California based startup Tap the Tap Strap, as opposed to the Tap XR, incorporated five linked rings which encircled the fingers and thumb of the user's dominant hand. Accelerometers in each of those rings detected tapping movements made by the respective appendage. A microprocessor in the thumb ring converted those movements into corresponding commands, different ones for different fingers, then transmitted those commands to a paired smartphone, tablet, laptop, or other electronic device. Azure and Cyborg Compact Review, niche but nice. Need a hand with your gaming? Most competitive gamers likely use one of the best gaming keyboards on the market, but some are always looking to try something drastically different in an attempt to get an upper hand. That's where the new Azure and Cyborg Compact joins the match, sporting more than 20 programmable buttons, a 3D printed frame and a look that's straight out of old school cyberpunk. The Azure and Cyborg Compact is expensive and different enough that you might expect a serious learning curve. Surprisingly, it actually didn't take that much time to get used to, but it also feels like you could spend a near unified amount of time tweaking things in the software and swapping out the many replaceable parts to get things just right for you. If you give it time, the Cyborg Compact can deliver a unique, enjoyable gaming experience and it will definitely drum up conversations with people who see it sitting on your desk. Music 
Apt Air Gamma Prototype SEV makes public debut in San Diego. We've been following an automotive startup's journey to get its three-wheeled solar electric vehicle on the road for more than 15 years, and now the latest teardrop-shaped Apt Air prototype has made its public debut in San Diego. The eye-catching Gamma prototype comes from the latest incarnation of Apt Air Motors, which began as accelerated composites in the early 90s before running out of funds in 2011 and relaunching a few years back. The aim is to deliver a two-seat three-wheeled solar electric vehicle that can roll for up to 40 miles 65 kilometers per day without having to plug in, with the company aiming for a 1,000 mile 1,600 kilometers of overall per charge driving thanks to an efficient electric drivetrain, slippery aero design and use of lightweight composite materials. Bellabot Pudu Robotics Bellabot is an innovative serving robot for restaurants. Bella is equipped with multimodal interaction features such as owl voice interactions, light interactions, touch interactions, and smart expressions. As a result, it provides users with a unique food delivery experience in restaurants. Bellabot is responsible for delivering food, allowing waiters to focus on serving customers. The robot increases customer satisfaction because staff can spend more time on customer service, e.g. focusing on the customer and recommending dishes. In addition, it will be able to provide constant service even during peak hours, thus increasing operational efficiency and improving customer service. Campus Shuttle Futuristic Urban Mobility Concept This is Campus Shuttle, our vision for urban mobility. We are Nils Ackenbach and Killian Wiesman, two young designers from Germany. During our industrial design studies at Coburg University, we joined forces with Bros, the German automotive supplier, to create a radical new approach to the way a people mover looks, feels, and integrates into our modern world. Campus Shuttle is a mobility concept that boasts a futuristic, sleek profile, bringing public transportation out of the 60s. The designers prioritized accessibility and versatility with Campus Shuttle to guarantee a smooth ride. A retractable wheelchair access ramp bridges the edge of the curb at the shuttle's entrance. Curated animations and pre-programmed LED signal lights communicate with other vehicles on the road. This vehicle serves as a last-mile alternative that connects specific areas with hubs of public transportation. Campus Shuttle features minimalist design language with many features, informative graphics, and smart technology at the same time. AR car display could change driving forever. Earlier today, Holographic AR, Augmented Reality, company Wayray released a new video showcasing its true AR HUD in action on actual roads, signaling what could be the beginning of a new era in AR guidance and safety. Throughout the roughly four and a half minute video, we see Wayray's deep reality display registered technology being used to project a variety of useful information directly to the driver's windshield in real time, including, but not limited to, vehicle speed, turn-by-turn -turn directions, and the time to destination. A blue electric line is used to direct the driver to their destination without distracting them from the road. The system also identifies and tracks pedestrians and makes suggestions for local businesses and services based on the current location.